Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, DNJ Reads. I'm Danielle, and today I'll be talking about all of the series that I'm currently in the middle of and need to finish. So I saw Shelby from A Little Literary Love doing one of these videos where she talks about all the series that she's currently reading right now, and I figured this would be a great time for me to go through, look at what I'm reading, and see what I need to finish. So I decided to do a video of my own. I do keep an up-to-date list of everything that I'm reading, and currently I'm in the middle of 170 series right now. I've cut that down, though, to just bring you 85 of them, so this is going to be two videos. I did have to cut it in half because that is a ton of series right now. But these 85 series that I am going to talk about in these two videos are series that have current books out that I have not read yet. All of the other series that I'm in the middle of, I am up to date right now, so I figured I didn't want to talk about those. These series also don't include any that I have DNF'd and I'm not sure I'm going to actually continue right now. So I do have these broken down into seven different categories, and I'm going to talk about four of those categories today. So the first series that I want to talk about is Omegaverse. I love Omegaverse as a subgenre of romance. It is one of my favorites. I have talked about it a lot recently. If you don't know what Omegaverse is, I do have a video up on my channel where I go in depth with it, and then I offer some recommendations for you. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. Interested. So I'm just going to get right on into it. And the first series that I want to talk about is the Collingwood series by Alicia Williams. And this series, I have actually not read one book, which is the last book, and it is called Wild Child. It is by Cassie Lean and Alicia Williams. So it's kind of like a companion novel. It's not actually one that is solidly in the series, but I am counting it as a book in the series. It is out and I'm hoping to pick it up probably by the end of the year so I can finish this one out. Then next up, there is the High Roller Omegas series. This was a compilation of a couple different authors. I have read three of the four books. The only one I haven't read is Queen of Diamonds. And the only reason I haven't read that is because it says it's like a bully romance and I don't really like those. But the completionist in me really wants me to read that book. So we'll see what happens. And hopefully I end up getting to that one. Then I have the Not Pucking Mind series by Sinclair Kelly. I have not read the second book, which is He's So Slick. I'm thinking that there might be more books in this series eventually, and that maybe when I get caught up, it won't be the end of the series, but who knows? We'll see. We'll go from there. And then I also have Love Me Not by Violet Fox. This series, I've actually only read the last of the books. I think I needed a word for like a thing I was doing for the month. I think I needed like sweet in something. So I picked that one up and I have not read Knotless 1 and 2. So I'm going to go back, pick those up. And then lastly, I have The Blissful Omegaverse by Kate King and Jessa Wilder. And I have read the novella Pack Origin, but I have not read Pack Bound or Pack Bliss yet. So hopefully I will get to all of those Omega verses, catch up, finish them so that I can read some more really good ones. And then next up, I have monster romances that I haven't finished yet. And that first one is going to be All the Pretty Monsters by Christy Cunning. I know I could have tagged this under paranormal as well, but it has monster in the title. So I figured we'd just put it under the monster romance category. So this, I have read the first book and I have not finished any of the other books yet. I think there's like seven or eight in the series. Got to get to those. Well, hopefully, eventually, I'll probably have to read the first one over again, but that is okay. Next in the monster series, I have Apex by Vicki Walklate. And this series is a series about like a zoo and the monsters in the zoo getting together with the zookeepers, I guess. I enjoyed the first one. We'll hopefully pick up the rest of them. Then I have the Dad Bod Monster series. This is another assorted authors. There's 12 books in the series. I have finished 10 of them. The only two that I have not finished are the Minotaur romances. I do need to read them in order because it's from the same author. So hopefully I'll be getting to those soon. But those were full length books instead of novellas like most of the other ones. So that's the only reason I haven't gotten to them yet. 
And then next up, we have the Girls Weekend series by CM Nez Costa. If you've seen some of my other videos, I do mention that I actually have DNF'd invitations. I have put that on hold for now because I really need to go back and go through the first two books again because I had no idea what was going on. It seems like I had forgotten everything. So we will get to that soon and then we'll pick up the fourth one when that comes out. And then next up, I have The Hunger Duet by Evita Weiss. I've only read one of the books in that series, hopefully picking up the rest of those soon. And then I also have the Ice Planet Barbarian series by Ruby Dixon. There are a ton of these books. I've read like four or five of them. I've really enjoyed them. They're kind of all the same though, so you can't read them back to back. I'll probably pick up a couple more within the year and then that one might take me a little bit longer to actually finish out that whole series. But that's okay. I like them. They're fun. They're just fun to pick up when you need a short read because most of them are novellas. And then lastly, for the monster section, we have The Lost Touch Duet by Avita Weiss. And again, I've only read one of those and there are two books in that series. So for both of Avita Weiss's, her Hunger Duet and her Lost Touch Duet, I really just need to read one more book. So I should just get on that, read it so that I can finish out those series. So next up, I have the paranormal romance category, and I have Assistant to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mehrer. This one does have the second book in the series out right now. I have not picked it up yet. I do have it on audiobook out from my library, though, so I'm actually probably going to be caught up on this one soon. I do think there will be more books in this series, so I won't be completely done with it, but I will be caught up. And then I also have the Dangerous Tides series, which is a Kickstarter series that Katie Robert did with a bunch of other people. The only book that I have read in this series is Katie Robert's book, unfortunately. I don't tend to like books set at sea all that much, but I read Katie Roberts because she had her Crimson Sales series that came out that had to do with that. So I figured I would just at least read that. And I did enjoy it. So maybe I will go back and read all the books from the other authors too. Who knows? We'll see. So next up, I have Fallen Hunters by Melissa Winters. This was like an angel demon series I want to say. I got book one. The author reached out to me to send it out to me and I was very thankful. I read it. I really enjoyed it. I just did not pick up book two yet. I will be picking that up soon though so I can finish this out. Then I have the Hell's Redemption series by Grace McGinty and these books are I believe three novellas wrapped into one actual book and each book follows a different female main character. I really like Grace McGinty. She does a ton of paranormal romance. I've read a couple of her other series and they're all kind of intertwined a little bit. So this one was really fun to start. I just really hope I can finish it soon. Not all of these are getting finished within the year. Just so you know, these are just things that I'm working on trying to get done. If I can finish a couple of them this year, that would be great. But I I know I'm not going to be finishing all of them this year. Then next up, I have the Nocturne Falls series by Kristen Painter. And this is a series where there are a bunch of paranormal creatures. They live in a Halloween town. It's Halloween all year round. And they're just fun romances. Next up is Their Vampire Queen by Jolie Sue Burkhart. This is a Why Choose Paranormal Vampire romance. There are vampires from different places. There are shifters. There are so many different things in this series. It does have a ton of books. I have read almost all of the mainline books. I just have a couple of the like novellas and like one-offs that I need to read and finish off. But hopefully I can do that soon and continue on with that series. And then next up, I have The Librarian's Coven by Catherine Moon. I have read the first book, which is Written. This is another Why Choose paranormal romance. And she is a witch. And she is asked to like come into a coven of these three guys that have been working together. And it goes from there. First one was fun. I just haven't had a chance to pick up the rest of them because they're not on KU. So I'd have to buy them. And I just haven't gotten around to them yet. But hopefully soon, Catherine Moon is one of my favorite authors, so I really want to pick up the rest of that series. And then I have my last of the paranormal romances, and that is going to be The Wolf Verse by Sam Hall. And these follow like shifters. I think he has a ton of different other... There's a bee in here. So the bee is still in here. Don't know where it went. 
I have my fly swatter now, so I'm just going to continue on with this and hope for the best. But as I was saying, the last of my paranormal romances that I have to continue on with is The Wolf First by Sam Hall. And this is a wolf shifter romance. There's a set of three or four books. I need to finish them. I've only read one of them. I do want to continue on. I just haven't had a chance. I've been reading a lot of wolf shifters again this year, though. So I might pick that up around Halloween just so I can have a little bit more wolf in my life. Crisis averted. I have... Um, gotten rid of the bee. So we're going to continue right on with that. I don't have any idea how that got in here, but I'm glad that it is not here anymore. So my next category that I have to talk about and the last one for this video is going to be all of the contemporary romances that I need to finish out. So First up, we have the Better With You series by Briar Prescott. This is a male male series that I started. I think I got an arc of one from NetGalley. I really enjoyed it, so I kept going on. I just have not finished. This is kind of going to be a running theme. I have not finished because I am bad at finishing things. It's probably the ADHD talking, but that's okay. Then next up, I have the Chicago Law series by Piper Rain. I've read one of these books. I think there's three. Just got to finish the other two. I read one of these, I know specifically for a prompt for a challenge that I was doing for something last year. And then I do have the Christmas Notch series by Sierra Simone and Julie Murphy that I need to work on. I've only read the first one. I thought it was okay. I've loved Sierra Simone in the past. It was just not my favorite from her. I've heard good things from the other ones though, so I'm really excited for that. And I know another one is coming out soon. So I'll definitely be picking up those, maybe when it gets a little bit closer to Christmas season. Then next up, I have the Club Sin series, which is by assorted different authors. They all came together to write about this one club where you go behind the door and that door is like a specific room that has that specific trope in it. So I've read a couple of these, hope to continue on. I don't think I'm going to be finishing this series anytime soon. There's so many in this series. There's also like a shoot off for like clubs in Chicago, like session one and two. I've read like one or two things from those. So eventually maybe, but that probably won't ever get finished. And then I also have the Devil's Night series by Penelope Douglas. I've read Corrupt in this series. I thought it was good. This was more when I was starting my romance journey. I thought I liked bully romance and stuff like that. It's really not my thing anymore. And I know the rest of the series is probably going to follow along with that. So I'm still kind of deciding if I want to continue on with it. I do own the second book in ebook form, so I might pick that up at some point. Then I have the Filthy Rich American series by Nikki Sloan. I've read book one in this, The Initiation. This one I thought was really good. It had some interesting themes in it, but I just haven't picked up the rest of them because I would have had to buy them. They're not on Kindle Unlimited. So we'll see. I have them on my wish list. Maybe I'll get them. Maybe I won't. Hopefully I'll pick them up at some point though. And next up is the Hot Mess Trilogy by H.L. McFarlane. This, I read the first one. I got a message on Instagram. I was asked if I wanted to do an ARC review for it. I did. It kind of was along the same vein of the Love Hypothesis. It was coming out around the same time. So they had seen that I liked that one. I really enjoyed this one. I do plan to pick up the next one. And eventually I will. Probably not right now, though. I have too many other things on my current TBR. <laughs> Then I have the Love Light Farms series by B.K. Borison. I've read Love Light Farms. This one was so fun. I've seen so many talk people talking about the other books in this series and really enjoying them. So I do want to continue on with them. I know the last one just came out and people are really liking it. So hopefully I will continue on with this series as well. And then I also have the Lady Luck Reverse Harems series. They're all reverse harems. I would love to read them. I love reverse harems or why choose is the more better option for that now. But when I started reading them, they were called reverse harem. So sometimes I'll slip up. Sorry. But then I also have the Mistletoe Love series. Again, assorted authors. They're novellas for around the Christmas season. I'll be picking those up when we get closer to Christmas. Next up is the Nashville Neighborhood series by Nikki Sloan. I've read three of the five books in this. I kind of paused because the next one, it's just called The Frat Boy. He is a frat boy obviously so it is set in college they're porn stars but 
I don't really like books set in college anymore. Shelby did tell me that it was going to be okay, that it wasn't too much college. So I'm hoping to pick it up soon. I do have a copy of it. I think I also have a copy of Good Girl, which is the next one. And I do want to finish this series out. I really like Nikki Sloan's writing. Then I have the next series by Hannah Bonham Young. This consists of Next of Kin and Next to You. I've read Next to You, which is the second book in the series. Should have started with the first one. That's okay. Next to You kind of interested me more, but I do want to go back and read the first one. I met her. I have it signed. I'm very excited to pick it up. I've loved all of her books so far. Then I have the Nick and Holly series by Dana Isley. I've read two to three books of these. They follow Nick and Holly as they meet and then start dating along the various holidays. Want to continue with that one. I also have Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. That is a three book series. I've read the third book in that series and I think I'm actually going to be reading the second book next instead of the first one. So apparently I'm just going backwards with this. I really like Abby's writing so I want to continue on with it and hopefully enjoy more from her. So that I might finish by the end of the year. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Then the next series is Priest by Sierra Simone. I have read all of the main stories in this series. There should be one more main book coming out, so it won't technically be finished when I finish the only novella that I still have to read in that. But one more novella, it's only like 190 something pages, so I really just need to read that. So when the last book comes out, I can finish it and be done with the series. Also, I have the Santa Daddy series. This one's by Assorted Authors, hoping to pick more up by the time Christmas comes. There'll be some good Christmas reads. That's really all I have to say about that. Then I have Seasons of Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth. I've read the first one, which was like a Halloween Christmas one. There's a bunch of others that people are really enjoying. I want to continue on. Probably not right now. I think they're kind of themed towards the holidays. We'll see. So I will probably pick them up when their holiday comes along. Then there's Shacked Up Love. This is another one of those novellas series by assorted authors. I read the Cassie Mint one, so I want to continue on with the rest of them. But I also have the Steel Brothers Saga by Helen Hart. This one is a really long series. I think there's like 20 something books in it now. I think I've read 12 to 15 of them. I was really on a kick with them for a while. It's like a whole family and you go through all the family and now there's kids of those families. Now we're reading those kids stories and I just haven't continued on. But I've really enjoyed them. So I do want to pick them up at some point. Then I have the Stonebridge Daddy series by Natalie Knight. This is a series that I think I got the first one on a Kindle Stuff Your Kindle Day. And I read it. It was fun. I own the second one and I just want to pick them all up. They're fun reads. Also, we have the Billionaire's Obsession series by J.S. Scott. I was reading this when uh, there was a couple free books and it was kind of when I just started. I think I got them off like the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. It was so long ago. Started reading those. Want to continue with that series too. And then also The More the Merrier by Trelina Pucci. This one is a spicy series. I've read the first one. We'll probably pick up the second one this year when it gets to be the holiday season again. And then there's also the There's Something About Marysburg series by Olivia Dade. I think there's three books in this series. I've read one of them. Olivia Dade is hit or miss for me. Then I have the Twisted Heart series by Katie Robert. This is a, I want to say six book series, five or six books, and I've read two of them. They are Why Choose? I think they might be Polly as well. They are on Kindle Unlimited, so I will probably pick those up soon. Katie Robert is one of my favorite authors. These are just a little bit of her older stuff, so I'm trying to get to her backlist. And then lastly, for this very long video and the contemporary romance section, I have to finish Well Met by Jen DeLuca. I've read three of the four or five books that are out in this series right now. They're Renaissance Fair books. They're really fun. I want to pick them up and keep going with them. It's kind of the theme for all of them. I do want to pick them up and keep going with them, but new things just keep popping out. And I just like reading new books. I like starting new series. I'm just, again, really bad at finishing series. So I will have another video coming to you 
and we'll be talking about a couple more of the genres that I am continuing my reads with, but that was it for this video. So if you've read any of these and you really think I'm going to like them and want me to pick them up sooner rather than later, definitely let me know in the comments. If you're currently reading any of them, also let me know. I would love to talk to you about them. Maybe we could do a buddy read or something like that. And that would be fun. And if you just want to leave a comment to let me know you were here, but don't really have anything to say, leave me one of your favorite heart emojis because I talked about so many romances today. But that was it for the video and I will see you next time. Bye!